Hey, JC here for Retired Cheap JC. Question for you. Are appliances and things like that cheaper in Thailand? So cheap that you can just go out and buy it if it breaks? And are you gonna get bored in Thailand not having anything to do? What do these two things have in common? Let's talk about it. So, as you probably know by now, my channel is always trying to help somebody who wants to come over and spend some time in Thailand long term, most likely for retirement. And things come up, I always get asked questions. Is it cheap to go buy a computer or an appliance, something that I need, before I come over to Thailand? Some things are cheaper over here, some things aren't. Remember, everything's running off for 220 volts here, so if you're coming from the States, your things, your appliances and stuff probably wouldn't work anyway. So, are things cheap here? Appliances, say toasters or anything like that? Yes and no. Depends on the quality. We get a lot of stuff in Thailand now from China, which is really cheap. Now, when I say really cheap, I don't mean just the cost. And so, they don't hold up real well. But we have other things that are coming from foreign countries here especially when it comes to when you're outfitting a kitchen or something like that, that are high end. We got hoods and ranges and things like that. Keep in mind, if you're in a condominium or something though, you can't have open flames. So usually you gotta have some kind of induction cooker or a flat surface electric cooker or something like that. So some of those things can get a little bit expensive. And if they break, they have good warranties. They'll come out and fix them for you. Now, back to the thing about, are you gonna get bored? If you have any kind of inclination, electronically or just you can do things vocationally that you were taught, it's a great thing to use those skills over in Thailand to fix things, not only for yourself but for other people as well. It's a great way to help out people. So why am I bringing this up? Because when I put a countertop in in the kitchen, I put this flat two burner electric stove in and it was from a company called Tekka. I guess it's called Tekka or Tika, T-E-K-A. And it was really great, but I had some challenges with it. So I'm gonna show you my story about my challenges with my stove top and how me being such a chilled out person, I tried to do it myself. Check it out. I wanna to talk to you about appliances. If you're coming over to live in Thailand, there's a couple things you ought to know. I've always said as far as products, if you're trying to buy a product that's specifically targeted for foreigners or foreigners use it as opposed to Thai people, it's going to be disproportionately expensive. This goes for food, this goes for services, this goes for everything. If average Thai people don't use whatever it is, it's going to be more expensive. Well, this also applies to appliances, so I want to talk to you for just a minute about appliances. I sort of put this kitchen together myself and it was just a little small countertop when I first came in here. So I built this out, put a bar top and, and a stove and stuff in here and, and built it out so I could cook because I like to cook. One of the things I, I actually bought was this little two burner stove top and it was a set. This stove top also came with a hood that was up here and it was a really nice hood. And this is by a company, and I'm gonna, probably going to butcher this, Tika or Tekka, I'm not sure exactly. I think it's a European company. So it was a set, and it was, I don't know, somewhere 6000 9000 something like that. I forget how much it was. It was, it was a deal because it was uh, the stovetop and the hood. Well, you notice there's no hood here anymore. The reason there's no hood in here anymore is if it was any, uh, this is where I had it mounted where these holes are. So it was right here. Well, that's right at eye level. So I was always hitting my head on it because it stuck out. If it was any lower, then it would have obstructed me from cooking. And if it was any higher, it'd probably be useless. Well, one day I was actually standing here, I was talking to Nat and I raised my arms to stretch and smacked it with my elbow and took it right off the wall. And it fell down on the stove top and it cracked the stove top, but it's still usable. It's not that big of a problem. It's just sort of cosmetic. And I ended up giving away my hood to one of my members. Great member. So anyway, 
This is for foreigners. This is for Thai people. Because being in a condominium or apartment, a lot of times they won't want you to use a gas stove, which is usually what Thai people use. So we have these little induction cookers. And it's really efficient. I've actually done about, I don't know, how many recipes have we shown our members how to use this to make real simple Thai food that's delicious. And I show them on this because if they're going to come over here more than likely, this is what they'll cook on if they're in an apartment or condominium. So I show them how to cook with this. And this is cheap. I, I think this is like 600 to 900 baht, something like that. And it's induction. Certain pots and pans can be used on this, no problem, if they're magnetic, I think. So anyway, that works really good. But I like this for a number of reasons. One is, if you're cooking, even if you're using this, we don't have a lot of burners, as you can see. Sometimes we're cooking with this. If I put food on a plate, I can actually take a ceramic plate and turn this on low and set the plate on it, and it'll keep the food warm on the plate. Very cool. That is a really great option. So while you're cooking other food, this one stays warm. You got to be careful when you go to pick the plate up because the plate might get warm. But that's really cool. Another thing I realized I could do with this, which I had no idea, I can turn it on just about medium heat or less and put a piece of bread on it and it actually toasts the bread and in like one minute it toasts the bread. So it also doubles as a toaster. I'm not sure if the company knows that or not. But anyway, so that's the deal. Now, one year after I bought this, all of a sudden it just stopped working. You wouldn't even turn on. So we called up the company that I bought it from, which was Home Pro, and told them they sent the tech for Tekka out, or Tika, sent it out. He took it apart and uh, for free, put a new part in free because it was under one year uh, by like a week. So one year, boom, the part went out, put in a new part, good to go. He gave me the receipt with the part number and everything. Well, guess what? It's been one more year, almost exactly. And guess what happened? Nothing. It doesn't come on again. So we called up the company in Bangkok. They wanted 1,000 baht to come from Bangkok just for the, the transportation fee. Then the part, if it's the same part as the last time, which was the power supply, which is printed circuit board, this is what they put in for free last time and came for free. Now this board is 1,800 baht for the board, and it would have been 1,000 baht to come out. Now, like I said, it went out one year, went out again almost one year. So we've... I'm taking a, a gamble here. I actually purchased two of these boards, had them sent to me. So I have, I'm going to replace one and I'll have a backup. Because I think in one year it's going to go again, I have another one. So anyway, they sent it to me, 800, 1800 baht. I'm going to put it in myself, so I save a thousand. We have two of them in case it goes out again. And I'm going to put this in myself. The reason I'm bringing this up is this is disproportionately expensive. 1800 baht, I could buy two of these almost for this much money. So when it comes to your appliances and things, there's always an option. I recommend going Thai. I used to live on a sailboat, and a guy taught me, great guy, he used to repair sailboats and stuff. And one time we were talking about fixing my boat up and stuff, and he said, buy disposable things. If it breaks, toss it and buy a new one. So I recommend that. Also, if they're cheap and you're going to move, say, from Chiang Mai down to Cha Am or Wen or wherever you're going to go, some other place, if it's not expensive and you don't want to pack it up, you don't want to get a truck or what, you can give it away and buy a new one, especially if it's two years old. Just buy a new one. So that there's an upside to doing that. But anyway, I just wanted to mention it to you. You can buy the expensive stuff for wrong style, which now Thailand has. When I first moved here 17 years ago, all it was was Thai stuff. Now you can get bathtubs and jacuzzis and stoves and hoods and all the stuff that you want, just like you could at, at back home in America at Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and replace this myself, and uh, then we'll see what happens, see if I'm toasting again. But just wanted, thought this would be interesting for you all.
So Nanoi, why is today so important that we have to fix our stove? One e piece at my? Piece at one e one on I. One sao. One sao tamai. Gin hot diggity dog. Gin hot diggity dog. Yeah, that's right. So we got our today's Saturday, the kids get to eat hot dogs. And why we wanted this fixed was check this out. If you lay the bread on it just for a minute, we actually have toasted bread. Because we don't have a toaster, we don't eat that much bread. But on hot diggity dog day, you gotta have bun. So, prom mai? Chop hot diggity dog mai? Yeah, so there we go. We got our stove back running again. And in time for hot diggity dog day. So, what I wanted to mention to you, and I'll reiterate, it's really important if you come here, if you're going to buy appliances, you can get all the Thai ones. This is why we, I cook on this. It's very efficient to be able to cook. It actually takes a lot less electricity to use the, the induction stove than it is this one. But if you get these, it's going to be more money to start with, and it's also going to be more expensive to repair. It's not toss away and move on. So, But we got it fixed. It did cost a little bit of money, but we're good to go. And uh, remember, when it comes to cooking in Thailand, what? There's always an option. See ya. So there you go. I hope this has been helpful. It goes to show you that you can buy expensive things and they're under warranty. That's really great. Usually you can get them repaired, very little cost. Those kind of companies that carry those higher end things really do a lot of customer service and they take care of you. But you can always save a little bit of money, usually if you do the repairs yourself. And there are places around Thailand and now with companies like Lazada, and I'll try and remember to put a link in the description of our affiliate link. So if you buy something from them, we make a little bit of money, cost you nothing extra. But using those companies, you can usually buy these little electric parts and do the work yourself. So remember, when it comes to taking care of your stuff and saving money at the same time, there's always an option. See you at GC out. Hey, JC here. If you like that video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel here. Also, we have another video up here you're going to be really interested in watching as well. And if you're looking for all the details of how to retire in Thailand in one place, plus a group of people to support you, check this out over here. Give it a click.